Hello YouTubers, RVers, and fellow hams. Well, I needed to make a change. I've talked about it in a previous video or two uh, with my 5 volt regulator up in the power control center. Uh, the problem I have is I can't quite charge the cell phone on the USB hub. It will slowly, I mean really slowly charge. If I leave it alone, it's not doing anything, um, and it's at 88%, and I leave it on the USB through the 5 volt regulator all night long, it'll be maybe at 90% in the morning uh, or 91. You know, it's just really, really slow charging. And I suspected low voltage at the USB hub. Uh, the 5 volt regulator is putting out 4.98 volts, which is typical of 7805s. They're usually just, just a touch below. Uh, but there's wire between the regulator and the uh, USB hub and a fuse. There's a, there's a wire, there is a fuse, there is another wire up to the uh, hub. So there's voltage loss um, across that wire. You see every wire has some resistance to it. Um, there is some voltage loss across the wire. And by the time we get to the USB hub, uh, we are not quite getting five volts. And then when it's under load, uh, that drops even more. So, I needed to fix that. Well, let's uh, go to the clips that I shot and I'll explain to you how I fixed it and we'll see what the difference is. So as I said, my voltage regulator puts out 4.98 volts. This wire is coming from my USB hub. I've just taken a regular USB cable and uh, cut it open so I could get access to the plus and minus voltage pins and I've got them here on the breadboard and uh, the output voltage at the end of the wire now this is after going through the wire to the USB hub itself which has some circuitry in it uh, that presents a little bit of a load uh, what we what we need to know is what kind of voltage we're seeing at the USB ports at the end of this wire so let's see voltage 4.7 4.75 volts um, yeah, so we've dropped down even more just coming through the uh, wire. Now, I have a 50 ohm resistor here, so I'm going to put a load on it. And I think that's going to give us around 75, 76 milliamps, somewhere in there, probably. I don't know. We'll see. So I've got the resistor. I'm going to put it in series with the probe, and we're going to see what kind of current we measure. Uh, 76 milliamps. All right, that's a pretty good load. So we'll put that load across it and then we'll see what our voltage drops to. Now, bear in mind, your cell phone or other USB device is going to want to draw upwards of 500 milliamps from a regular USB port, which would be quite a bit more load. <laughs> so let's uh, get this resistor in here. Okay, we're back to measuring voltage. So there's our voltage without the resistor, 4.75. And once we put it under load, 4.3. So just uh, 75 milliamps a draw, we've dropped down to 4.3 volts by the time we get to the device that's trying to charge. So that's why my phone is having a hard time charging off my USB ports. The voltage drop across the resistance of the wires is dropping the voltage down by the time it gets to the phone too low for it to use effectively to charge with. So I intend to raise the output voltage of my regulator by about six tenths of a volt to compensate and hopefully be able to charge the phone a little bit better. How am I going to do that? Well, let me make a few changes here and I'll show you. The 7805 voltage regulator, like all of the 7800 series regulators, has three pins. An input pin where your source voltage goes, the center pin is ground, and the output pin where your regulated voltage comes out. Now what we're interested in here is the center pin, the ground. 
very little current flows through that pin. That's there to provide a reference for the regulator circuitry inside the 78000 uh, that it uses to reference for its output regulation. So it's, it's targeting, in the case of the 7805, 5 volts relative to the ground pin. If we want to raise the output voltage of the regulator, all we need to do is artificially lift that ground a few tenths of a volt or a volt, however much we want to raise the output. If we lift that ground one volt above the actual ground, then the 7805 is going to reference that and it's going to output 6 volts because it's going to output 5 volts relative to what it sees as ground. Uh, another way you can do it is with a diode. Now, every diode has 6 tenths of a volt voltage drop across it. And we can use that. We can utilize that, that um, quirk of a diode to artificially raise the ground of the 7805 by 6 tenths of a volt, thereby raising its output by 6 tenths of a volt. All right, hopefully you can see this well enough on camera. Uh, what I've got going on here is I've got a simple 7805 <clears throat> hooked up. I have 12 volts from my batteries coming into the board, into the input, filter capacitor on the input and the output. The center lead is going directly to ground back here with a jumper, and I've got a point right here where I can measure the voltage. So I'm going to power it up, and what we're going to do is we're going to measure the output. So here's the input pin here, 13.57 volts. And here's the output, 4.96. They're usually a little bit low, and that's my problem on my regulator. The output at the regulator is 14 or 4.98. And by the time we get down the wire to the device, we're just above 4 volts, not enough to charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first power that off. And then I've just got any old bog standard diode here. This is just a silicone diode. Nothing fancy about it. And we're going to replace that ground jumper wire with our diode. Going from the ground pin to ground. Okay. So now instead of the uh, ground wire, we've got a diode going to ground. Let's power it back up. I'll hook up the ground on my multimeter. And uh, now let's take a look at our voltages. Input voltage is 13.6. Output voltage is 5.51. So as you can see, the uh, six tenths of a, of a volt drop across the diode has raised the reference for the 7805 and we've raised its output voltage by about six tenths of a volt. Now I could put two diodes in series and we would get about 1.2 volts um, raise on the output rail. But I'm hoping in the case of my regulator up here I only need to put one diode in and just bring it up a half a volt and hopefully that'll be enough to allow it to charge the cell phone more reliably. So that shows you that it does indeed work. A neat little trick you can do to raise the output a little bit um, on the 78000 series regulators. Okay, so I've just finished modifying my regulator. I put a diode in series with its ground, as I showed you on the board. And we're set to see what the output is from the USB hub. 5.5 volts, no load. Okay, so if I can hit at least 4.8 with a little bit of a load, I'll be happy. Ah, 4.6, 4.7, 4.75, 4 4.76, 4.77. You know, that's a whole lot better than whatever it was before, 4.3, something like that. So there we go. Now it's not much of a load, but still, it's better than it was. Instead of seeing uh, 4.6 or so volts, we're seeing 5.5 here at the output. Going up half a volt um, is not going to hurt anything USB-wise. Uh, everything's going to have a tolerance 
uh, be able to tolerate up to like I say a volt or so over voltage so half a volt is nothing um, the main point is the uh, uh, the regulators now putting out adequate voltage to charge the USB devices and not putting out too much to hurt the Raspberry Pi um, so we should be good thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you're not already a subscriber click to subscribe join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos and if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.